In this episode, I got Tyler here. He's going to tell you how to build your personal training business by using social media. He may take his shirt off. Stay tuned. This is the Ask the BCE show, episode number 18. And this show, I've got a guest, Tyler Holt, and he does have his shirt on. I do, right now. for now. Yes. Things might get wild, but yeah. we, we might take it off later. I'm, a, I'm still out of breath. I, uh, I was late, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. I was late getting to the show, I almost ran out of gas. Some dude wanted to drive like five mile an hour for the last five miles, and but I'm here, and we got the show going. Um, so, man, I, Tyler, you know, we go, we go way back. Actually, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but um, you used to work for me in for Fair Republic way back in the day. Used to work in Fair Republic, yeah. yeah. That was what a hundred years ago, five, at least one hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah at least no, it was like years. five years ago. Right? Five, 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 six, six, six years. years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And you've come a long way since then, dude. It's I've been a journey. I've really journey. Uh, appreciated and watched and and like I'm very proud to see you, you've gone as far as you have, man. I like, appreciate it. And I'm gonna let Tyler take over here and kind of tell his backstory, but like just a quick little blurb is, uh, you know, Tyler, gym owner, personal trainer, and personal training is it's a super hard gig in our industry, man. It is, um, especially when you're on your own and you're not a part of a bigger right. corporate gym, yeah. and you've, you're killing it. You're killing it. I've seen it explode and blow up. So, give us your backstory, dude. Tell me what Tyler Holt is all about. So, um, so yeah, I, I did work for Fit Public, uh, like we were saying, about five or six years ago. Um, at the time I was working, I was a trainer at 24 Hour Fitness, uh, just kind of making my way through um, college. My degree is actually in criminal justice, which is being put to all sorts of use right now. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. <laughs> um, uh, but then I, you know, I really just, I kind of fell in love with the personal training, so I decided that that was what I wanted to continue my journey with, and then um, had an opportunity to leave 24 and start my own personal training company, and then I was just kind of renting space. Um, out of another gym at the time. Uh, brought another couple trainers with me over there. Uh, things started to go south with the owner of that gym and then um, so I called up one of my clients and I was like, I just, you know, just find me a building. Like, I'm just, we're just gonna do this our way. Um, I don't wanna deal with any other bosses, managers, anything like that. I just wanna do my own thing. So mm -hmm. um, we found a building. Two months later, we had it up and running, which is our gym, 212 Performance Gym right now. Um, Where can I find two? Look, here's a plug, two, 212 plug. Performance. 212 Performance uh, Gym, yeah. How do they find that? Especially if you're local here in Colorado. I've been there, it's actually a pretty cool little gym. Yeah, it's off of uh, Arapahoe and kind of tucked away back off Arapahoe and Revere, if you guys know where that you guys is. You have a website on that? Yeah. We do, yeah, 212performancegym.com. Um, and so you guys can find out information there. Um, or on social media, you guys can always just ask me about it. Um, so yeah, that was uh, four years ago that we started that. These past four years have been a complete blur. It feels like it's been nonstop learning. Uh, there's really no way you can ever be truly prepared for starting your own thing, which I'm sure you are 100% aware of. Um, so it's been a very, I mean, it's just been nonstop learning. It's been an amazing journey. It's been really fun. Um, trying to build a gym, trying to build my own personal training business as well along the way, and, uh, and now we're here. And here you are. Now we're here. And you're right, dude. Like, there's no way to really prepare for owning your own business. No, not at all. I compared to, like, having kids. I know you don't have a kid yet, but, I like, there's, yeah. if you're out there and you have a kid, you know that uh, there's just no way. You're just never ready to have a kid, no matter how ready you think you are. When it happens, you're just not ready. And you learn really quick. Yeah, right? you, have to, yeah. You, you have to learn really quick. You got to adapt and you have to just roll with the punches and, and learn as you go. That's so, right. Absolutely, yeah. 100%. So, man, the big, one of the biggest reasons I want you on the show is um, uh, us both being in the fitness industry and having a uh, big background together is, um, you know, you're the one, you're the successful trainer that I think a lot of people can look at and model after especially a big social media platform right now, your own gym that you're in, and you've been training for successfully for four to five years now, with step, probably some struggle in there too. So, yeah, you know, if you're out there talking to the trainer right now that either is ju just joined a big gym to get their start or is about ready to jump off on their own, or maybe they're on their own but struggling, what's some good pointers and good like advice for them? I think for trainers, you know, if you're starting out, um, I do feel like 
I have no hard feelings against 24 Hour Fitness. I don't know if I should even say their name. Against Court Purchase. Too late to oh, It's on there. <laughs> 24. Um, big box I think gyms. It was, it was corporate gyms, big box gyms. Um, you know, when I, I first started my training career there, and I think it was a very good way for me to learn the ropes, learn the business, learn systems, uh, learn some sales, uh, and, and they just they do actually help you build your business. Um, so I think if you are a new trainer starting out, I do think uh, corporate gym, there's nothing wrong with starting off at a corporate gym. Um, what I absolutely recommend for everybody is y utilizing social media to the f you can just take complete advantage of social media. It's free marketing. Um, you can share whatever you want on there. You can show progress with your clients. You can show your own workouts. You, I mean, you can explain your knowledge and just and reach as many people as possible. So, I think uh, for trainers starting off, or if you want to go off on your own and you don't have a corporate gym kind of supplying a bunch of those members to you, then uh, I mean, social media, in my opinion, has to be kind of your number one uh, marketing source Advertising, because it's. Sure. You know, especially starting off, uh, like I said, it's free. I know when you're starting off as your own trainer, uh, you're kind of saving money everywhere that you can. So there's a lot of marketing things that do not work. <laughs> I'm sure you have experienced plenty of them. So mm -hmm. by, uh, social media is one thing that has 100% always worked for me. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. so just being able to show, because people, I mean, if you want people to train with you, they want to know that you can give people results, right? They're coming to come to you for results. Absolutely. So they want to see that. So if you can, if you have all your clients and you're showing all these, you know, transformations and all this kind of stuff, then people see that and they're like, oh wow, this guy kind of knows what he's doing. I right. like what he's doing with his clients. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then they just kind of come to you on there. So, it, you know, it's really crazy to think about how uh, just the way marketing has completely changed. Even, uh, five, platform, six, I mean, sure. even five, six years ago, you know, social yeah. media was around, but now it's like, for me anyway, in my business, it's like the one, it's the main source. Your main tool, right? Yeah, absolutely. And ours too. Like we're live right now on Instagram, Facebook, your Instagram. I'm taking this and we'll put this on YouTube. I advertise yeah. on YouTube, like everything's yeah. social media. That's how right. we advertise. But right. I'm going to back up a little bit for you, like true or false on these statements. This is a general statement. Uh, I think I got my personal training cert, cert like 10 years ago. I think I trained one client one time. <laughs> so I don't have, you know, you're the expert of this. I'm not. But my general opinion of personal training, starting out on a bo big box gym, mm -hmm. I think benefit is they feed you clients. True. Right? You still got to hunt a little bit. You still got your own client. But you learn a system you, and, and you're fit. Right. Negatives, they take a lot of money from you. Absolutely. Right? Yep. And I think what a lot of trainers that are in a big box when they think that I'm going to go out on my own so I can make more money mm -hmm. of that session, what they don't realize is now when they go outside that box, yep. your 90% of your job is marketing to build your funnel to bring in more clients. 10% is actually training the client. Was yes. that true or false? Or what's your opinion very, on that? I totally agree. Yep, very true. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of funny because you know we've had we have trainers contracted in my gym and we have since we opened up, but you know there's. There's people that leave corporate gyms and they end up doing really well for themselves. And there's people who think they can, you know, do it on their own and they realize how much of a grind it is and how much more work you have to put in when the corporate mm -hmm. gym's not feeding you those people. So, um, and again, there's no way really to be prepared for any of that other than you just kind of got to roll with it and you sink or you swim. Yeah. You and get slapped in the face yep. and see how you react, yeah, right? Absolutely. That's, yeah. Absolutely. And that's to be any business, but like it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right? So, yeah. Um, so yeah, like but now that you're on your own, you've learned that real quick. I'm sure you got kicked in the I'm not kicked in the balls in a few times, times, right? Yeah. <laughs> the nuts. In those. Yeah, right? Like yeah. and yeah. you've got knocked down and you had to just figure out a way to get back up. Yeah. So, um, I, and we just we touched a little bit on social media and I think social media is a, and we call it social media. It's it's advertising, it's marketing, you guys. Like, there's no difference between, uh, you know, ten years ago when the consumer's attention was on TV, when it was on radio, it was on billboard. Consumer attention has just shifted. Mm -hmm. Do you watch TV ever? No, 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 I don't. Are you a Netflix guy? I'll just I'll throw on a movie, but like yeah. I, I can't. I don't binge watch shows. I don't. Yeah. Like I'll throw on a movie here. Probably because time is real valuable, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But people don't watch TV anymore. Only live TV has ever watched is the Super Bowl's coming up. Right. That might get watched. Yep. Those commercials might, might be valuable. But right. as advertising, you just move to where the consumer's attention's at. And I know me personally, 
I don't go in the bathroom and take a shit without my phone. <laughs> I don't. No. I have my phone on me, and I'm, I'm either people like ever leave their phone. Honestly, ever. Like, ever. If it's a, it, that's as far as away from my phone has gotten to me in probably a month. Which I'm a little scared it's right now. Weird. Like it's it might not, run away. You can't just yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm <laughs> sitting on the toilet, and I'll literally watch videos to learn, or I'm sitting here working, doing mm-hmm. messaging, and like yeah. while I'm, you know what I mean. So well, and that's and I'll, you know on your phone, you've got all your social media, you've got your emails, you've got your messages. Like everything is so connected to these phones now that it's mm-hmm. it's kind of weird right like if you don't have it you're like what do i do right that's your work and i don't even use my laptop that much anymore i don't either i, I got laptop, 90% of my iPad, work is phone. and i barely use any of it so, yeah well yeah so everything is on the phone man. Yep. so um let's you know i think let's dig in a little bit more of your social media phone because like, that's what the biggest thing i've seen from you tyler over the last couple of years is you have blown up with social media so do you have any tricks I mean, we've absolutely 100% established that's where everyone should be. Yeah. If you want to build a personal brand, you got to be producing content yep. 100% all the time as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Any tricks for the consumers out there that want to build that social media platform? And, you know, that's like one. That's one of the biggest questions I get asked all the time, and I really, really wish that there was the magic, a trick, trick. right? Like something. It, it was just. I mean, I think what it just comes down to is giving good content, and being consistent with it, and. I think consistency is the biggest key. I mean, even you know, if I going two days without posting, you can notice a drop or a change in in the response with your post. So, consistency really goes a long way. But also giving people great content and something different. In my industry, everyone posts workout videos, right? Everyone can take a selfie in the mirror, all this kind of stuff. So, what added value do you have to bring to the table, or? And, and that's, I think that's the trick with, with getting a good following. Um, I, I, mine really started blowing up because of my personal transformation um, from Little Twig Man to what I am now. Um, Can we put that on the video? Little Twig Man, that's little, his new little twig man handle? At me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but just showing my own transformation kind of got people's attention and then... Um, you know, and then I got involved with bodybuilding.com and with Muscle Farm. Yeah, um, that's where I really seen it blow up. That that was kind of where it started, and then I, you know, I was randomly doing these thousand rep workout challenges, and bodybuilding.com took my arm one and put it all over bodybuilding.com on the email on their website, all this kind of stuff, and uh, so that's actually just been in this past year so with bodybuilding.com and Muscle Farm, where everything's mm-hmm. just kind of really taken off. Um, and again, sure. just having different, you know, different content, different different things and, and being able to relate to people. Um, I think a lot of people are scared to put their real selves on social media uh, and they think that they have to have this, you know, perfect image out there versus just being yourself. You know, people don't, people want a person to follow someone that is relatable that you can, that you can mm-hmm. see that they're just goofy genuine. shit on their thing. Yeah. Genuine, caring. I, I mean, all these things versus just someone who is like trying to be this picture perfect image. Right. So, all right, let me break it down to the consumer a little bit. What I'm hearing you say is, you gotta work your ass off. You gotta stay consistent. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta put in the work. That's like, like another job with social media. It is another job. I mean, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's um, it takes a lot of time to create the content, good content, mm-hmm. and do all that. So, it's, but you gotta put in the work for it if you if you really want to have that presence and and make a statement on social media. I mean, you have to put in the time for that. All right. And that's what he's doing right here, actually, is like going back in social media. And I'm sure we're going to start responding back to some of these questions that you're getting hipped up yeah. here in just a second. But I just want to kind of recap the social media part. Is you got to put in the work. It's not something you do for two weeks and, oh, my God, I, I didn't build my following like I thought I would. Like, how long have you been doing this? Probably years, right? Years of work the, of social media. Social media? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably years. Like, I think I really started being serious about it probably like three or four years ago. Right. Yeah. And then the other biggest point I think you brought out that I don't agree with is it has to have value to the consumer. Yes. And in whatever industry you're in, if it's fitness, you got to have some kind of value to the consumer that maybe not they're not getting somewhere else. Like you said in your industry, right. you see the workout videos and you see the uh, selfies and, and gym shots. And we see that through everybody mm-hmm. in this entire industry. But are you bringing something of value of something different to the consumer? They're going to watch and being genuine, being yourself. like. I just talked about me taking a crap on the toilet. Like, you know what I mean? Let's do that. <laughs> that. You do that. You guys are out there. You guys poop too, and it stinks. All right? Your poop does stink. 
Kayla, your poop stinks. <laughs> right on. Right on. All right, uh, Mandy, is there anything else you want to add, or should we take some questions? We can take some questions. Cool. For sure. Do you guys have any questions out there on some feeds, or you want to jump on Tyler's feed and see if we can answer some questions? Great. Not everyone talk at once. Yeah. This one says, I'm you got one, Tyler? This is for you. It says, what's the biggest change you've noticed in Tyler over the last five years? <laughs> It's probably his hair. Probably my hair and some tattoos. Yeah, that's a, the biggest change is your hair is like down to your ass right now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there for sure. Yeah, no, on, on a serious note, um, the biggest thing I've seen from Tyler is that I think the seriousness of his career has elevated substantially, a million times. You know, when you were with me working, um, you did great with Fit Republic, and I know you want to branch off do more personal training. But I think when I seen it really start to pop is when you went on your own and started your own gym yeah. with those guys. And I saw you go to a next level. And I know you consume a lot of content. Uh, like Gary, me and you, like a lot of, we watch a lot of Gary Vee, right? Like mm -hmm. you're with, yeah. Yep. So consuming, like educating your mind and, and changing your mind and making yourself a better uh, owner or person or whatever, like bringing that content in your mind, it changes you. That's what I've seen the most out of you is that change of I want to be better, be better in life, better in my career, whatever it might be. And you've worked really hard for it, man. Yeah. That's what I've seen. So. Yeah, and I think, I mean, going off on my own definitely kind of forced my hand to do that. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, whether you want to or not, it, change, it changes your mindset because you're either like, but you know, like I said, and actually I, I remember you saying this a long time ago, it was either you sink or swim. And... So, it, and I mean, it was scary. It was scary as hell. That was the, <laughs> the scariest moment of my life, you know, deciding, okay, I'm just going to jump into this and, and do it with no plan, no preparation for it. Like, I just knew that I had to do this. And so um, I just went for it, and it's all worked out so far. Um, but your mindset just changes automatically, whether you want it to or not. Um, when you put yourself in those uncomfortable situations, it just forces you to grow and develop uh, you know, just in every way imaginable, especially mentally. But um, so I think putting yourself in those positions are are huge. Yeah, putting yourself outside that comfort zone so you have to grow. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which and I'm sure you like when you started franchising and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm sure it was the same. Oh yeah, we I would do it every day. Yeah. I'm like trying to take on new shit every day, and right. I'm trying to grow and push myself. And these, I'm sure my guys are like, yo, just slow the hell down. You know, <laughs> but you don't know how to do that. It's always something I, else. Like I, it's, it's very I'm hard to, to just progress. slow down. Yeah. I, I have to have advancement in progress. And like my big thing now is me and Alex just watched an Ed Milet thing where he combines three days into one. And I worked a 17 hour day yesterday and I'm like, yeah, I got so much done from yeah. four o'clock in the morning to noon. Yeah. was an entire day of worth, worth like eight hours of work. Yeah. I got so much done. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, sink or swim. You gotta jump. You gotta jump in. You gotta figure it out. You gotta try. And my here's my rule: if you wait till you feel like you're 100, percent you'll never jump. Yep. 80 percent. Feel like you're 80 percent there. Just jump and do it. Yeah. Because you're not gonna know. Well, because everyone's 90%. like, every, that's what everyone says. No, it's it's just not the right time. It's not that there will never ever ever be a right time. Never. Um, so just go for it. If there, yeah, if there's something you want, if there's, you know, I mean, just go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. We got any other questions on the lives? You got one these on all, I mean, these are our hide, hard eyes and yeah. smiley faces. So, so what's up, y'all? But <laughs> if we got some questions, let's ask some questions. What's on the uh, forefront for you, Tyler? Like you've, I feel like you've accomplished. All right, you own your own gym. You guys are successful. You got your uh, your personal um, followings very successful. You got your personal training business. What's next? Because we can't sit, can't sit still. We can't can't be stagnant. stagnant. No, right. not at all. So if you're not growing, you're dying. Exactly. So as far as the gym goes, we're on our last year of our lease for the building, and we are planning on expanding mm. um, into a building that is uh, actually triple the size that we have now. Um, is that scary? Super scary. <laughs> Very scary. You're probably but taking like, on three times the liability, but right? But we have, uh, you know, there's, with the space that we, you know, and our, our gym is cool now, that's awesome, but we have other ideas that we want to accomplish that we, we need more room for. So it's, it's again, it's not an option as, do we do this or do we not? Like, if we want to accomplish what we actually want and what's in our future, then, then we have to make this step. So whether we're ready or not, it's no. coming, and we have to, and we got to do it. So, um, again, just putting ourselves in another uncomfortable 
situation and we're going to make it work because uh, we there's no other choice. No so, choice in that. There's just no brain. You just got to do it. Right. right. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that's as far as the gym goes. And then personally, um, you know, my one-on-one -on -one training business is great. Um, but I do have a subscription website that I'm working on currently. Mm. Um, Online training? No, it's more so it's for uh, people to kind of follow what I'm doing. So I'm going to have my daily workouts posted. Um, we'll have macro calculator um, a little more detailed one than you typically find online, but based on your, if you want to cut body fat, if you want to gain muscle, um, whatever, it's kind of going to point you in the right direction and it has options for if you wanted to do intermittent fasting, if you want to do keto, if you want to do carb cycling. So it's got options for all sorts of, you know, keto's the yeah, big fad right good. now. It's been around forever, but it's a huge fad right now. But it's popping right now, um, yeah. And it actually does work. It's good. I use it. But, um, so I have that subscription site being built a uh, small subscription fee for people just to have content uh, daily follow my daily workouts um, see my new you know more details into my uh, nutrition and just my overall routine but um, do you have that site locked in can you share it with the, this, the uh, viewers uh, or is it secret it's secret right now all right right now it's secret I'm you guys don't have to follow Tyler hoping. to find out I'm sure you're on post it when it's live right? oh yeah for yeah. sure so I'm hoping to get it live and working within the next couple months is the plan so yeah uh and then so 2019 will be just pushing that hardcore mm -hmm. um we get my subscriptions built up for that um that's what do that's i have to do I to got. get a six pack like this eat sour patch kids <laughs> is that right yeah only sour patch kids get, yeah absolutely yeah yep um do i have to work out because <laughs> you know yeah yes, i don't know if yeah, that fits in my out. 17 hour work day do you keep uh, a big bag? <laughs> sour patch. Sour patch. That's how you keep going on. Um, <laughs> no, if you guys no. don't know, I'm like a sour patch fiend. That's why I throw that out there. Yeah. But um, no, it's all. I mean, you, you know, I, I get asked a million times of, for ab workouts. Da 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 da. I I don't train abs. Yeah. When's the last time you did a setup? Ever. Last year. Last year. Yeah. yeah. I did my annual setup, which was I haven't done this year yet, so I'll probably throw that on. The social media, but um, your annual one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I posted a video of it last yeah. year. It was pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean, um, it's, it's all in the nutrition. Enough. All in the nutrition, one hundred percent. Everyone's got abs. It's just whether or not you can see them. So the body fat has to be low enough, obviously, to mm -hmm. be able to see them. And that's as. I say it's as simple as it gets. It's not easy by any means, but it, it's just there's one way to do that, and it's, it's eating well. And, and a lot of people don't have the um, knowledge. You know, it's not to their fault. The, the, the knowledge isn't really there of what's good food, what's bad food. Right. Food isn't made the same way it used to be. Fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, all those fast food places, are not. you're not going to get a six-pack by eating that. Right. So the knowledge piece is the biggest thing. I'm assuming that's the biggest thing that you give to your clients and your, your uh, people that follow you, which will be led right into your online site subscription right yep with all the knowledge and um uh, macro the macro counting and all that stuff so, yeah, yeah absolutely um cool. see hashtag sour patch right there sour patch yeah shouts i do like sour patch kids though but only after the work <laughs> so, take it. Um, do margaritas fit in my my uh macros they fit wherever you want them <laughs> <laughs> bud light um, Bud Light, that's my that's tag for thing. Bud Light. That's your go-to. Oh, right man. See, that's I'm your, like, that's hashtag your sour Bud Light in that video. That's, yeah, that's I love right. margaritas. I don't know what it is. Like, it's a margarita, it's a beer, it's all in the one. It's crazy. Fucking awesome. It makes me feel good. <laughs> um, what diet regimen do you currently follow? Are you, do you follow anything mm -hmm. specifically mm -hmm. right now? I do, yeah, so I do a little intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. I don't go full-blown keto. Mm -hmm. I do lower, if I go lower my carbs, I increase my fats. Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit intermittent fasting. Depends on the day. I go higher carb, I go lower in the fat. If it's lower carb, I go higher in the fat. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what about you? I mean, they want to know you, dude. You're the one with the six pack. Right now. Why is your shirt still on? Talking big game over the ground. What am I doing right now? I'm finally at a point right now. Literally, all of last year, I had photo shoots or something going on, so I literally had to stay. Just shredded, shredded year round last year. I didn't get a chance to grow at all. Is this your bulking so season sad. right now? This is bulking season. Is this fat Tyler we're looking at? This is fat Tyler. <laughs> this is as fat as he gets. Um, 
but no, so I'm, I'm excited to actually be able to focus on putting on some size right now. So um, for me, I, I just have to, I have to eat a lot. I'm on 4,500 calories right now. Um, that's three burritos for me. That's three. That's so many sour patch kids. <laughs> sour patch kids. <laughs> um, and a lot of people ask how I can eat sour patch kids and, and stay so lean, but like when you're eating 4,500 calories a day, a handful of sour patch kids is yeah. is nothing. So it's actually I don't just sit there. I literally don't sit there and eat sour patch kids all day. I just make it seem that way, but <laughs> uh, I wish. Um, uh, so my Your nutrition, see, my, yeah, my nutrition. So my carbs are at 450 a day right now. Uh, protein is at around 300 and then my fats are around 160 um, yep. and that's you, that's you stay that. pretty consistent with that seven I days stay, a week yeah yeah you yeah. don't have one day or just do whatever the hell you want um, well, I guess Sunday Sunday's Sunday is kind of my do it every day yeah. I'm just kind of chilling but um, other than that I kind of just follow that I'm, I'm very simple with my meal plan I don't like to switch things up. I'll eat the same thing all day every day every week um, I'm not too creative like that but so, but it works. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, well, all right, guys, uh, that is the BCE show. This is Tyler Holt. Again, to look forward to his uh, online subscription, his website. He'll sneak that. So, follow him. I was throw on his little tag here at the, in this video when we were creating that. And it's okay that I just said that. I don't mind. Um, so, follow Tyler. Check out his, his regiments, routines. He posts some good stuff, some good workouts. And if you're personal trainers out there that want to see maybe a model after how to build social media, check him out and see what he's doing. He's doing something right. So thanks, bro. Thank you. All right. Appreciate That's the BCE it. number 18. Thanks for watching, guys.